Well, Anthony, uh, it's, it's funny because sometimes you don't see the kids very much from one summer to the next. But the first thing I saw when I when I saw him this year was that, that he's grown so much, and uh, he's a good skater. He's really quick on his skates and light on his skates. He moves around very, very well. Uh, he's a great listener, and uh, he's what I call a low maintenance player. You don't really have to talk to him a lot. You tell him to do something, and he does it right away. But uh, he's a smart player. Um, I see that he scored some goals this year playing novice hockey, and he obviously understands the game and has a nose for the net. Uh, his puck skills still need some work. I think his, uh, his shooting and his stick handling still need some work, and that's something that we're trying to do this week at the school. But he's all around a great kid. We really enjoy having him, and uh, I, I can, you know, I see that right away that he's improved, especially his skating skills. I find that he's uh, moving on the, along the ice right now a lot quicker than he did uh, in the past. Well, I think with the, uh, the focus on the puck skills, we do a lot of, uh, even our power skating drills, we are always done with a puck here. I think for someone like Anthony, a lot of the uh, typical minor hockey uh, players who don't get a lot of puck skills during the winter, I think, you know, 15 hours of ice each week uh, with a puck on your stick uh, a lot, uh, you'll see his puck skills improve in a hurry.